I can't believe Zack wants to go to bed already. The night's still young. So many people to talk to. I thought you were going to bed. I'm not. I've got things to do. Oh, having uh, dinner with the coach, huh? Quit wasting my time, Megat. All right, never mind. Hey, did you change your mind? Yes, I'd love to see your art. Let's go. Oh, okay. My place is right down the hall. Cool. Zach may not have time for you, but I do. Oh, you're having trouble here. Hey, hey, yeah, you figured it out. Oh, 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 shoot, now I'm stuck. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, we, we figured it out. I'm not incompetent. I was planning on doing a little more drawing tonight. But what the hell? Friends are more important. You can do both. I'm sure this visitation won't take long. Oh, wow, there's a lot of art in here, huh? So, I've got a bunch of cool art on the walls. Take a look around. Ask me about what interests you. Uh... Ooh. Never seen this place before, but it looks nice. <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> Ooh, what are those big green gross things in the background? And over your bed you've got... Oh, two vault kids and a shirtless man wielding spears. They seem to be staring down a, a couple of dead corpses. And of course, you've got some nice posters here. Very nice posters. And your doodle pad, drawing pad. Oh, very nice, very nice. Where, do you, where the hell do you go? Hey. So, what'd you find? What's that picture of a city with a, the big tower in the middle? That's where Kurtz grew up. The world he comes from is basically just a big desert. And there's only one city. That city is his home, but he left to adventure with his friends to find a place to live where the owner of that tower can't find them. They ended up getting lost, though. They couldn't find their way back. They got turned around in a dust storm, and that's when the cave giants found them. Your name is Kurtz. Are you writing a story about yourself? What about that picture of the small kid being chased by giant green men? That's the last time Kurtz fought the cave giants at Cajun Pass. Your brother liked that story a lot. The first book is where Kurtz lost his friends to them, and the second is where he broke free. It may be a little sad, but he won in the end. After that, he met the vault guys and started fighting for them. What about this one with the kids in vault suits? They're aiming spears and guns at weird figures. Well, that guy in the center is Kurtz. He comes from that desert city and fights with knives. He's leading this vault to safety against those other dudes. I, I think it's Vault 24? I don't know. The other guys are like... Undead soldiers from before the war. Really creepy shitheads led by a necromancer named Zax. They just want to bite the vault dwellers and turn them into zombies to power their army. Are these illustrations chronicling your life story? Where did you come from, anyway? What's with the spears? I honestly don't know what to tell you. I have a really hard time remembering. It's something that keeps me up at night. Dr. Osman found me out there, just like everyone else. Just, I came to the vault when I was way older than you guys. That was a couple years ago, and I've had memory problems the whole time. They've gotten better, though. I can hold on to things longer. But when I think about my past, I... I just... You blank? You know when you stare at a light, and everything slowly just explodes with color till it's all white? Uh, it's no. It's like that. And it just gets hotter and hotter as I go back, like it was just burned out of my head with a fire that spread from branch to branch. No, that doesn't happen to me. But hey, it could be worse, right? If you're dead, you can't remember anything. I gotta say, Ben, you're really upbeat. A lot of people down here are total buzzkills. Yeah, I don't know why. This vault is totally calm and a really nice place. I don't see how anyone could be unhappy down here. I wish everybody saw it that way. Yeah, me too. I'm really glad this is home. I have this really bad feeling that the wasteland is... awful. And I never want to go back have a bad feeling that it's awful? You, you would have prior experience, I would assume. Regardless, I should be going. Have a good night. Yeah, no problem. It was great adding another fan to my list. I'll be drawing a new one soon. Oh, maybe I'll get early access to it, eh? Ah, yes. I probably should go through all these terminals. There's probably a lot we overlooked. You have a list from Coach Bragg on your desk. He calls it the Master List. It has the names of all 300 citizens on it. Wow, round number. Organized in three-lettered brackets. He and Chevy agree that this is the order that our citizens should follow for duty in case of an attack by outside forces. Okay. Those at the top, the A-list are on his vault ball team, the Patriots. 
The B list has mostly young women on it, and only a handful of boys from the opposing Barbarians team. C has just a few, the Hale Children and Dr. Rossman. Ben Kurtz is noted with a star, along with Sean, Mandy, and Jason. And there's the D list. I am listed at the top, followed by everyone over 50. Nearly 250 souls. Oh, okay. Wow. So D list is the biggest list by a long shot. <laughs> I am loath to see the tribal children we raised follow this man to war, but it is the only way. He knows them better than I ever will. Okay. Vault 18's history. My god, it actually happened. We all thought it was a drill, but we went anyway, and now here we are. I ordered the vault door to stay open for five minutes longer than was defined in my directives. I still had MPs trapped outside. I saved them all and a few more than was called for. Now these two angry-looking vault tech reps are starting to edge in closer. <laughs> they just cross the radiated wasteland to stare you down. <laughs> I have a feeling they already have a plan for how to dispose of my body. Overseer Dovnik. Alright. Don't know who that is, which is probably not something that bodes well for him. MPs have taken control of Vault 18. 48... Hours of unrest and civil dispute. Yeah, Overseer Dun Dovnik was found dead in his office in the hours following the door being sealed by these agents, who forced a cyanide capsule down his throat. Ah, being very subtle there, I see. Attempted to initiate the vault's self-destruct sequence when we broke the door, and I shot him to the eye. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we got Overseer Clint Dixon now, who was promoted from Guard Chief. All right, this vault has a rich and storied history. The vaults were never meant to save anybody. Yes, so we've learned. Vault 18 was an experiment. I can hardly wrap my mind around it. What was the experiment? All residents are to be subjected to round-the-clock live video feeds from across the country. All of the other vaults. All of those people. Oh, this is just a surveillance vault. Kira's terminal. Keep out unless you are helping. Oh, something from Kira. Notes on Wasteland Factions. Oh, she's been going through all these too. Learn about super mutants. Raiders. The Enclave. Their Brotherhood. Caravans. The Gangs of Nerino, the Slaver's Guild. Well, for someone who hasn't left the vault, you've got meticulous notes on everything outside the vault. The She, bankers and tech geniuses from San Francisco. Dr. Rossman won't help me. He says I should learn to hack these old systems on my own. I'm only 10. I barely know how to type. My fake mom and dad won't let me stay here. He hits me when he drinks. Oh, Dr. Rossman, don't tell me you're a child abuser. I have to find a way out of here. I want my real parents back. Oh, poor Kira. I have looked at these notes since I was 10 when they banned me from being in here. I'm 19 now and I won't take I don't know for an answer. That stupid bitch Jen Hale caught me on the cistern repairing the exterior connections. I don't know how she did it, fucking drama queen. Because of her I had to tell the overseer what my dad does to me in front of everyone. I'll kill her one day if I get the chance, I swear. I'm, I'm sure she's calmed down and a little less hot-headed in this regard. Hey, Kira, you'll never believe what I found on those terminals. It was your diary. Hey, need some help? I was looking over your notes on the Exodites. Your impressively detailed notes on them. It's kind of a hard thing to talk about. It's where our parents came from. Our real parents. None of the vault dwellers want to talk about it, and Dr. Rossman always shrugs it off. He says it makes him depressed. Since you're unlocking these terminals, maybe you could try looking around for me? Maybe there's new data I missed. I suppose I could keep looking. Could find something interesting. You'll probably find it on one of the Tier 2 terminals. Just let me know if you can figure it out, and report back anything you find. Yeah, sure. I'll keep on poking at him. Dr. Rogers. 1,300 of us currently living in Vault 18. Ooh. So I guess the numbers have dwindled from 1,300 down to 300, huh? Well, I guess it makes sense when you have a limited population size. Several tectonic shifts, I believe, are precursors to a much larger event, because we're on the San Andreas Fault. I guess we are, aren't we? The cement shell has been curling. Supports are weakening. I, I Hopefully we're going to be okay. I, I, I. Careful inspection allowed us to discover a hidden nook between one of the two houses. Survivors were found inside, between the age of two and four, approximately, wearing exodite marks, little pentagrams painted on their bodies, they were terrified. Two kids named Jamie and Eric, the oldest of the bunch, told us that demons took their parents and left them behind. Oh, we found Jamie and Eric's origin story. Oh, it's a report by Rossman. We found Exodite tribes number six and seven. They've been destroyed along with all... You <laughs> wiped out an entire... Whew. Wow. Rossman is not your ordinary scientist. 
You were too late. Children there were dead, likely from starvation. The scouts blame themselves. I blame myself. Ah, oh, you're doing your best, I'm sure. We documented the agreement Dr. Rossman reached with the slaves of Union City and the NCR Colonel Bill Silverman. The NCR is aware of the Wasteland Scouts and our exploits. They've watched every episode, it seems. Big fans of the show, or so we thought. NCR sent prospectors to take over Vault 18. They killed Dr. Kyoto. Oh, that's how they died. And left us covering our butts. With those mercenaries chasing us back to Vault 18, we had no choice but to kill them. The NCR learned of it and branded us enemies of the state. Ooh. Rossman specifically is called in for treason. They declared Vault 18 in Athens equally annexed NCR property. Yeah, well, come and take it, you NCR pricks. Oh, they stormed in and took over the ethanol fields at Union City in a three-week battle. I guess they did try and take it. <laughs> the survivalists under Ellis Dragon have made a big impression on NCR brass. NCR thought they would be a pushover, but they were wrong. Ellis Dragon gave ground just to suck them in and burn its own fields under their feet. Oh, the fields are probably full of explosive mutant corn. Killed 400 soldiers. Jeez, death by popcorn. Woo. We're locking down Vault 18 until further notice. We'll close the door, start raising these kids we save from the wasteland, and that'll be it. Our adventuring days are over. Wish it were on a better note. Lots of reports. 212. Another one by Dr. Rossman. Blew up San Bernardino. Oh, yeah, there's, there's so many different notes here. I could go through them all. Holy cow. <laughs> Very detailed reports, I see. Dr. Rossman kept meticulous notes. If I read one report every day, I mean, that's like a little chapter of a novel. Sergeant Dale Norman. Oh, good! So Rossman isn't the only one leaving notes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yep, that's a lot of notes here. Lot, lot to read. Hey, Rossman. Yeah, kid. What is it? Hey, I found a ton of old history reports from the weeks after the Great War. Ah, now that's something worth looking into. I don't need an essay or anything. I trust you've learned enough. I found a bunch of security logs and data from years ago. Stuff about the Exodites. That's a word I haven't heard in a long time. Exodites. Damn. You know, leading theory is when you kids were brought up here, it was because your parents were part of the Exodus. We never found out exactly what happened to them. Just that they disappeared. I hope it kept you entertained. I want to talk about being a Wasteland Scout. I'm going to tell you the exact same thing I told everyone else for the past year. I-15, all the way from Union City to Pine Haven, is torn up like the devil's ass crack. Chief Evanson agrees. Ain't no way any of us is going out of that vault door without a damn fine reason to do so. And before you asked, I've already heard every variation. I won't be talked into telling you why. Last time I opened my mouth, old Bragg almost shit himself gleeful and turned into Captain America. Now go on. You've had a hard day. You should just head off to bed now. And don't let those death claws get you from under the bed. Yes, yes, I'll go to bed when I'm good and ready. Sh hey, guess what? I was looking through some of the terminal entries you unlocked, and you did find a few interesting notes. Did you find anything special on your end? Some of the notes by Sergeant Norman blame the survivalists. Yes, that's exactly what I expected. The survivalists. They keep slaves from what I'm told, hundreds of them. If our parents were captured during some long forgotten battle, they were surely taken as prisoners. Thousands, actually. They keep thousands of slaves, not hundreds. They seem to be scary people. They may be scary, but all people have one tragic flaw. They're still human. There will always be a way to defeat them, no matter how many there are. Why the new California Republic hasn't decided to take them out, it's inconceivable. They're nothing but raider scum. I don't think they're raiders, actually. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not what they call themselves? I don't care if there's more to their philosophy. You're not apologizing for them, are you? No. Well, I intend to kill them one day and get my mom and dad back no matter what you think. Well, it's always good to have a purpose in life. Hope this new information helps you rest easy, Kira. It does. It's very exciting. Now I will have a place to start my research and maybe form some kind of plan. I think I'm gonna turn in. Thank you for your help. I mean it. You're welcome. I knew there were a few things left to do. I wish we could go outside the vault. When I was a kid, 
They used to let us out to watch the sunrise. Now it always feels like we're hiding. Well, according to those terminals, we are. There's a lot of hostile groups out there that want to enslave us. Hey, Jamie, anything interesting going on? Well, we might have acquired some of the private stash of alcohol that chemistry nerds brew up in hydroponics. You care to walk the line of scientific possibility with us? Anything is better than dealing with the constant circulation of drama in this damn vault. Drama? Is somebody giving you grief? Mmm, I'm kind of not a girly girl. I play vault ball, I drink a lot, I beat up the boys, well, all of them except for my brother. Eric is a lot stronger than me, especially when we're around each other. That's where people get their ideas. He and I, well, we've always been really close. Really close. Mm -hmm. We lost our parents in the wasteland a long time ago, and Dr. Rossman's wasteland scouts saved us. Right, I read the notes. We could have been slaver bait, but we ended up here. And I love him. Eric was my first... everything. We've always been together, and we don't think it's weird, but others? They hate us for it. So we tend to stick together. Oh. Then with all of this brag for overseer bullshit, the prudes have been extra harsh. We're all weird to an extent. Forget those people. You're amazing. You really think that? That's cool. I'm glad that you're one of my friends. The feeling is mutual. I'll see you later, Jamie. Okay. You have a good night. Maybe I'll see you later? Maybe. Tell your brother I said hi. You look like you have something to say. Do you? You really know how to handle yourself, big guy. I've just got some, mm, stuff to talk to you about. You know, vault drama. We'll get it over with quick. This sounds important. I'll meet you back at your place and we can talk there. Sure. Don't keep me waiting, tiger. Jen lives down here. Oh. Hey, kid. Hey. Here to see my daughter, are you? Yeah, she said to meet her here. Who are you? She mentioned why? No. Figures. Get in here before someone notices you. Daddy! Hey. What do you think, Jen? I'm not paying attention. Come on. You don't have to freak him out. He's safe to talk to. I promise. I just want to make sure you're right. There's no one better to ask. I may not be a legendary wasteland scout, but I trust my instinct. If Bragg is half as bad as I think he is, your instincts might be leading you into a trap. I learned from the best. Just trust me. Even the best can make mistakes, Jen. Yes, sir. This sounds super secret. Should your entire family be witness to this? Hello. No, okay. So last night, I let the girls wander off, and I stopped by to spy on the competition. Coach Bragg was in his after-school meeting with the Patriots, without you, of course, and he was talking up some list. Everyone in the vault is on it, and they're all given grades or something. I wouldn't normally care, but he mentioned me directly. At first, I thought he'd notice me listening in the hall, but I'm a real good spy. He said that I'm on the B list because I'm not smart or fit enough to make it to the winning team, but I'm fit for other things. I already know about his lists. If you're not on the D list, I think you're safe. You don't seem reassured. Is there something you want me to do? I... I know this sounds stupid, but if you could talk to him... It's a long shot, but maybe he could honestly tell you what it's about, and then I'd be okay. Maybe it's just a stupid health thing or whatever. But what if it isn't? Dad is a wasteland scout. He's... seen things. He told me that Bra gives him a good feeling, but it's never that simple. Vault 18 has a dozen enemies. And some of the shit Bragg has been training his patriots to do? It's getting scary. I, I don't think Coach Bragg is in a talking mood. Maybe we should break in and steal the list ourselves. <laughs> well, that might be more fun, yeah. We'll have to go somewhere real quick, though. Will you follow me? Sure, where are we going? It's a secret. But when we get into the hallway, I'll race ya. Ooh, clandestine. Hey, we'll be right back, okay? I think we'll go ask the Overseer what he knows about Bragg's origins. 
That's fine. Just stay away from Bragg and Chevy. Don't trust him. Understood. We'll be careful. Hey, it's Eric. How's it going, Eric? Taking inventory on all the plants? Hey, how's it going? Hey, haven't seen you in this part of the vault in a while. So how's life treating you, Eric? I guess everything is fine. I don't have much free time lately. I'm still working on a lot of Dr. Rossman's assignments. The only way to become a Wasteland Scout is through him or Chief Evanson. Dr. Rossman is... A whipcracker? Well, he's crazy. But he's also a slave driver. Yeah, yeah. I respect his worth ethic, but damn, I'm overwhelmed. So you're trying to be one of his Wasteland Scouts, eh? Hell yeah, man. I've been working on my physical conditioning, and I'm passing all my firearms tests. Mrs. Kowalski is easy to please. I'm finally done with cartography, too, but that shit comes easy to me. I mean, we were born in the wasteland. It's in our blood. It's hard studying and getting ready for what's up there while we're locked down here in the dark. I can't wait to get outside and kick some ass. Dr. Rossman usually advises against starting gunfights. He says it gets good people killed. True. He's never impressed with my firearm stats. He blows them off, saying I should focus on academics. Last week, he hit me with a full course of plant identification. He's gonna turn me into a freaking botanist or something. <laughs> oh well, at least they say I might be ready in the next few months to go with other scouts on first patrol. That should be exciting. Maybe we'll all go to where this started. Where they found our home in the wasteland. Oh. Now it put to rest a lot of questions. I've always wondered what it was like up there for us. You know? We were too, yeah. But what happened? I want to go up there and try to set things right. Set things right? You're very determined about this. Yes, I am. It's still in me, the call of the wasteland. To see it, to fight. It's not like we can hide in the vault indefinitely. We'll have to face the outside world one day. We'll need someone to lead us. Somebody who knows its secrets. And that somebody will be you. Ugh, hell, I hope so. You know, this is my home, too. I care about it. Everyone here is family. Well, at least some of them. Speaking of family, what's up with you and Jamie? There's certain rumors abound, you know? Listen, honestly, fuck those rumors, all right? Our life is our business. Everybody thinks they have a right to point out what they see as different. But they have no idea what it's like on our side of the story. A single stupid remark can lead us to having a fight or end up hurting each other. People can talk all they want, but they don't have to live in the middle of it, so fuck them. I really hate those jerks for picking us to pieces behind our backs. Yes, we love each other, and all those haters should mind their own business. Do you know how rare love is? Try finding it 200 years after nuclear war. Try finding it in a vault full of 300 prudes and old people. <laughs> yeah. Not so easy to hit one in a million, is it? Especially when there aren't a million left to hit. You bring up a very fair point. It might be a taboo subject, but when your other choices are very old people or very, very old people, suddenly your sister doesn't look quite so unappealing. But I'm not speaking from personal opinion. I should be going. See you around. Later! Audio break into the coach's bedroom. For non-sexual reasons, I'll have you know. We're not supposed to be down here, so try to be stealthy. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Stealthy, yes. <clears throat> Crack into that with a wrench somehow? I don't understand how that works. Here, take this. I found these in one of Bragg's private boxes that he keeps down here. You can use it by just turning that little knob and wearing it on your wrist. So you broke into one of Bragg's crates and took this stealth boy. Yeah, what can I say? I have sticky fingers and I'm a master with a bobby pin and a screwdriver. Plus, Bragg is a wastelander. We can't just trust him. A lot of people are from the wasteland. You guys are older than me, so I've grown up listening to the stories of where the badass tribal kids came from. I've been the only new kid actually born here for like 18 years. Well, besides the waster girls getting knocked up. You're helping me keep the vault safe from bad guys, so don't wimp out on me now. Come on. Coach Bragg leaves his office at 10 every night. We have to get in there after 10 and before sunrise. There will be a janitor sweeping the floor, so we have to be careful and not get caught. These stealth watches last only like five minutes. Are you ready? 
to break into the coach's bedroom and sneak a peek at his list? What have you been using these stealth boys for, Jen? Well, I live in a house full of four other people, and I'm the only one that isn't innocent. It's kind of hard to do stuff when everyone else lives in the same room. But these things block light and sound. When I'm using one, I can hide under my covers and listen to loud music, or... Or make as much noise as I want. It's a privacy thing. Oh, they block sound. Okay, Inter- I did not know that that's how Stealth Boys operated. So what are we looking for in there? Just Coach Bragg's list? We're going to check out his computer. Then we'll look through his desk. And I'll lockpick his safe. I'm a magician. I can make magic things happen with locks. Let's just go. Come on. We'll wait in the atrium diner until Bragg leaves. Then go in behind him. I'll follow your lead. A magician, huh? I'm a little envious. I've always wanted to be a magician. Anything else you gotta say? Shh, we'll talk later. Oh, okay, sorry. So we just wait here until Bragg shows up, huh? Oh, wait, here he is. That means his office is empty. Hey, psst. here he goes. Come on, let's sneak into the gym while we have our chance. Go, go! So the arena's this way. Which we're not allowed to go into because it's past curfew. So, uh, don't mind us. We're going to bed now. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Kids going to the left. Guards turn around. Pop that cell phone. Yeah. Let's sneak on in, Jen. They'll never suspect a thing. Hopefully, this stealth boy lasts a long time. Jander's not even looking in my direction. Good, good. All right, Bragg's office is in this direction. We don't have much time. We gotta keep going. Oh, crap. Uh, lockpicking skills. Jen, where'd you go? Get over here. Pick the lock. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I hope you find more stealth boys in his office. You're taking too long. There you go, there you go. Not to rush you. I mean, that was pretty fast, all things considered. All right. Search around, grab Don't everything. Don't touch anything. Oh, Just okay, look for the list on the computer. Then let's get out of here. Welcome, Coach Bragg. Best play of the year, recap. I found that bad. Uh, the master list. This is what you wanted, right? Uh, abbreviated list. A list. Star player, Tara Mason. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, B list. There you are, top of B list. Yep, found you. And also Jamie, yep. Uh-huh. And uh, that brute, Johnny Matheson. Eric Campbell, the brother. Um, and then C list. There's all these folks down here. Ben Kurtz, and then D-List is like a lot of people that are pretty old, apparently. All right, that was the list, all right. I'll forward this to your computer. You're welcome. How you feel about that? Is that good? Should we go? So, did you find it? Yeah, just a list of names. Nothing too exciting. I forwarded it to your computer. Well, I guess that's it then. Just a list of names. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. I'll just head straight home after we get out of the gym. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? It's probably better if they don't see us both together, just in case. I owe you. Maybe I'll find a way to pay you back someday. Yeah, sure. Sorry, I, I couldn't be of more help. You, you sure you don't want to poke around, maybe find some cool stuff? Yeah, not much left to do other than to sneak on out of here. I mean, if we got spotted by the janitor, no big deal. We'll just, we'll just say we wanted to make out or something. We can make up a plausible story. Uh-oh. Boy, I think they're coming my way. <laughs> okay, the janitor doesn't actually seem to care, but that guy spotted us from a mile away. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, you know what? I think, uh, yep. There we are. Sorry, we, we uh, took a wrong left turn. No, he's still following me, is he? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm gonna get in trouble for this, aren't I? Hey! What the hell are you doing in the gym after curfew? You better get out of here, or I'll have Chevy deal with you. Now go on, get out! I'm not in the gym. You must be confused. Touched in the head. Sorry, you're in the wrong room. What a fool they must feel like, right? Jen? N no? Uh, okay. Well, that was an utterly pointless mission that accomplished nothing. At least it was fun. Watching TV, are we? Duck and cover. Oh, we're watching PSAs, huh? So, you got the list? Yeah, I sent it to Jen's terminal. Maybe she'll share the information with you. Hmm, that's the master list, all right. I told Bragg to get rid of that ages ago. Disturbing. 
I'm going to have to go have a talk with Christensen tonight. I don't trust Bragg's behavior lately. Something about the way he talks. He reminds me of someone. Someone I don't want near my kids. I don't know what you're worried about. Yeah, he's got a roster of everybody in the vault, and he sorted them into fuck, marry, kill groupings. Does that really make you so uncomfortable? Is, is it because your daughter is in the fuck category? Besides covering the vault in loose firearms? Or is making all the wasteland kids salute him like a general and train for war? Something about that man rubs me the wrong way. You kids, you're the last generation in this vault. We don't have enough kids being born to replace the population we've got. Jamie and Eric already solved the vault population problem. Bragg wants to take you all out in the wasteland on some crusade to restore America. Sounds like a fool's errand to me. We've traveled the whole of California, Nevada, Arizona. Further, the only people I've seen talk like him weren't heroes. I want to make sure that doesn't happen here. I wouldn't worry too much. We'll probably never leave the vault. You know what the overseer always says? In Vault 18 you were born, in Vault 18 you will die. He says that a lot. Well, good night. Yeah, you too, kid. And thanks for helping out Jen. The other kids haven't treated her the best, but... She's going to make a good scout one day. Outside, the person next to you is your life. You watch their back, they watch yours. Again, probably never going to leave the vault, but... Kind of you to say, nevertheless. Hello, Bragg. It's about time for you to go to bed, ain't it? I want to talk about America. What's your plan? America? That's a real big thing to talk about. Here in Vault 18, we have the opportunity to make a real change up there. We're safe and healthy. I want to see you kids make a true difference. Start to put things back together for the red, white, and blue. We'll start with after-school programs, then scouting missions. You kids are smart, good with technology. A bunch of us living down here want to start training you to fight, too, to keep our little investment safe. It's a big world up there, and there are a lot of bad guys. We need to find the good ones and band together, all of us. So how does sorting people into categories and a manifest help? Hopefully, Jen can figure out what that list was all about. As for me, I think it's time for me to go to bed. So you're the replacement. What's your name, recruit? Uh, we live in a fucking vault. How do you not know my name, lady? Hmm, I see. We're done here. You can go to work for maintenance. I have no need of you. Wait, what? That's it? Mm-hmm. If you come back again, I'll have you shot. Now go away. Jeez. All right. 